Using distributed cache, step one. First, set up the cache by copying the requisite files to the file system as shown here. Here we see a bin slash Hadoop fs command using a dash copy from local of the file lookup.dat to hcfs myout slash lookup.dat. This shows us that there is currently no file or directory of that name. The Hadoop fs copy from local, remember, will take a file from your local file system and place it in the target directory within the hcfs file system. Using distributed cache step two, set the application's job conf as shown in the example. In this case, we're setting up a new instance of job by creating a new instance of job conf. We then will call a distributed cache add cache file method and create a new URI specifying the location. In this case, my app lookup.dat with the file name of lookup.dat. In the same way, each of the different commands here shows you creating a cache entry for zip files, jar files, tar files, tgz, and gz files. In step three of setting up your distributed cache, you will use the cache files in the mapper or reducer class that you create. Once the private path and configure information is in your program, you simply declare an instance of file called f specifying the new file along with the parameter of .map.zip slash some file in zip.txt. This will map your file into the distributed cache. 